talking about the driver is that we wanted that extra bass, but at the same time retaining the mid-range performance. It's always a trade-off when you do a, a speaker between various things. If you if you do something over here, it'll get different over there. So you're always changing a lot of things at the same time. Acoustic is a more or less exact science, but there are many unknowns. So sometimes you have to work with intuitions. And if you see a shape, say, this won't work, like a diameter of a voice coil, but it's not simply saying, let's go for this diameter, this will work. No, we made samples after simulation and checked if it worked. So it was a lot of work to, to get this driver right, because every detail counts. Getting a bigger a diaphragm uh, was one of the things that we wanted. So we had a, a bigger surface area on the diaphragm. We also have a stronger magnet in a different configuration than what uh, we're using in the, the current or the, the past contour. So there's a lot of things that has uh, changed in that. And it's all in the chase of getting that very good mid-range at the same time retaining the bass response. We still use um, high quality injected baskets uh, we changed from what we call the inside magnet, which is a traditional system at Dan Audio, to an outside magnet because we could simply put larger magnets. And one of the goal of the new contour was try to keep the quality of the bass, but with more dynamic and more output. That means you can play louder. It should be fast, means the diaphragm has to respond very fast to, um, to the signal. Um, the shape has been, or the, the material itself has been uh, studied from thickness and uh, shape to have a better mid-range performance. That means it's more open, more natural, uh, surround, spider, everything has been redesigned. As I said before, with simulations to get the perfect driver for this purpose. And the results are that uh, the listening we had so far it's like we get a way better stage. Like you could almost see the instruments between the two speakers. You can point them not only in um, in the position between the speakers, but also in the depth. And also if a singer is standing and the voice, so the mouth of the singer is above the, tree, uh, the, the speakers, well, it is actually above and not on the level of the speaker where it's Oftenness, if the driver doesn't perform as it should. It took us very long to get it uh, right and uh, we got there and we are happy and also very proud, the whole team, to have designed a new driver which will be also the base of newer design which will come in the next generation higher and um, speakers from Dynaudio in the future.